we want to simplify the given expression. To simplify the expression, we simplify the numerator and denominator separately, then perform the division indicated by the fraction bar. Looking at the numerator, notice how everything inside the parentheses is raised to the power of negative seven, and therefore using the power to power property shown here, we multiply the exponents inside the parentheses by negative seven. So in the numerator, we are going to have x raised to the power of one-fifth times negative seven, y raised to the power of negative one-half times negative seven. And now in the denominator, notice how, and now looking at the denominator, notice how we can multiply x raised to the power of negative one-tenth times x raised to the power of one-fifth because the bases are the same. When multiplying and the bases are the same, we add the exponents indicated by the product property of exponents shown here, which means x raised to the power of negative one-tenth times x raised to the power of one-fifth is equal to x raised to the power of negative one-tenth plus one-fifth, and we still have y raised to the power of seven-fourths. And now to determine these two products and this sum. For a one-fifth times negative seven, let's write negative seven as negative seven over one. Nothing simplifies, and we get negative seven-fifths. And now for negative one-half times negative seven, again, let's write negative seven as negative seven over one. A negative times a negative is positive, and therefore the product is positive seven-halves. And now let's determine negative one-tenth plus one-fifth. To determine the sum, we must obtain a common denominator. The least common denominator is 10, and therefore we write 1 fifth as an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 10 by multiplying the numerator and denominator by two. This gives us negative 1 tenth plus 2 tenths, which is equal to positive 1 tenth. So now we know the numerator is x raised to the power of negative 7 fifths, y raised to the power of positive seven halves. In the denominator, we have x raised to the power of one-tenth, and we still have y raised to the power of seven-fourths. Now that we've simplified the numerator and denominator, we can perform the division indicated by the fraction bar. When dividing and the bases are the same, we subtract the exponents as indicated here by the quotient property of exponents. So we'll think of this quotient as two parts, where we divide the terms with a base of x and then the terms with a base of y. x to the power of negative seven-fifths divided by x raised to the power of one-tenth is equal to x raised to the power of negative seven-fifths minus one-tenth, and y to the power of seven-halves minus y raised to the power of seven-fourths is equal to y raised to the power of seven-halves minus seven-fourths. And now to determine these two differences. For negative seven-fifths minus one-tenth, the least common denominator is 10. We multiply the numerator and denominator of negative seven-fifths by two. This gives us negative 14-tenths minus one-tenth, which is equal to negative 15-tenths. But this does simplify because 15 and 10 share a common factor of five. We divide the numerator and denominator by five to simplify which gives us negative three halves. And now let's determine seven halves minus seven fourths. The least common denominator is four. We multiply the numerator and denominator of seven halves by two. This gives us 14 fourths minus seven fourths, which is equal to seven fourths. So this gives us x raised to the power of negative three halves, y raised to the power of positive seven fourths. To be in simplest form, we need to express this only using positive exponents, and therefore we now need to simplify x raised to the power of negative three halves. Looking at the exponent property on the left, a raised to the power of negative m equals one over a raised to the power of positive m. An easy way to remember this property is to write the given expression as a fraction with a denominator of one, and then if we move x raised to the power of negative three halves across the fraction bar, or in this case down to the denominator, the exponent changes from negative three halves to positive three halves, which means the expression is equal to y raised to the power of positive seven fourths 
divided by x raised to the power of positive 3 halves. This is a simplified form of the given expression. I hope you found this helpful.